Good morning, Muttley. Uh, this is a prayer I found online uh, from World Vision, uh, which I've amended uh, in various ways. Um, but it's uh, hopefully useful to us all at this time. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, during your time on earth, you showed your power and caring by healing people of all ages and situations in life, from physical, mental and spiritual ailments. Be present now with people who need your loving touch because of COVID-19. May they feel your power of healing through the care of our doctors and nurses. Take away the fear, anxiety and feelings of isolation, wherever people may be. Give them a sense of purpose. Return them to health and protect others from exposure to the disease. Protect their families and friends and bring peace to all who love them. Dear Lord, we lift you our concern for people who are more likely than others to become severely ill from COVID-19. We especially think of the elderly and people with chronic health conditions. Protect them from harm and be their comfort in this time of uncertainty and isolation from loved ones. Dear God, as people get more sick, healthcare workers and first responders are working longer hours with fewer supplies and with more risk of contracting coronavirus themselves. Renew their energy and sustain them on their long shifts. We particularly pray for members of our own family here at Mutley who work for the NHS or food supplies or whatever they do in helping people in society at this time, be with them especially. Bring your protection upon them as they work with patients. Multiply their supplies so they have the protective items needed to stay safe on the job. Inspire and invigorate the research doctors are doing in developing better tests to diagnose the virus, create vaccines to prevent it, and identify methods to eliminate the diseases spread entirely. Father, we seek your wisdom daily. Be with people making decisions that affect the lives and futures of our families, our communities, our countries, and the wider world. We pray that they may communicate clearly, truthfully and calmly with each other and with us, the public, and that their messages are received and most importantly, heeded. May truth and empathy be the tenet of people setting policies for our protection. Holy Spirit, as families adjust to everyone being at home together, we ask that you guide people in their new realities. Give husbands and wives particularly grace for each other. Prompt worn out parents to speak words of kindness and encouragement to their children. Help children find creative ways to experience the beauty of all that you have created and continue with their learning in this ever-changing environment. Jesus, we thank you for your faithfulness in how you have guided and equipped people in their jobs and have provided in the past. It can be scary and overwhelming not knowing how bills and obligations will be met and not being able to provide for families. As people feel a real financial strain during this uncertainty, bring them comfort, bring them peace, and remind them 
that you are there for them. Provide for them in their times of need. Lord, we are so grateful for all the people who continue to work each day so that people are able to eat. We ask that you bless and protect them as they serve. Give them grace to handle disgruntled customers during supply shortages. We thank you for all the volunteers delivering medical aid and food to people in need. Keep their bodies healthy as they unload and stock and deliver boxes of supplies and medicines. Keep their cars, motorbikes, lorries running smoothly as they deliver these needed supplies and food that people have ordered online. And please protect them all from contracting coronavirus. Almighty God, we know that everything is in your sovereign control. We ask that you keep this coronavirus from continuing to spread. Help people to stay at home. Holy Spirit, remind people to wash their hands properly. And while it may be heartbreaking, comfort families as they decide to keep their distance from family members, both young and old. Help us to keep strong when we start to doubt and worry, where are you in all this? Help us again to witness as people look beyond the virus. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril and he will deliver us again. On him we have set our hope that he will continue to deliver us as you help us by your prayers. 2 Corinthians 1, 10 to 11. Amen.